Hey, this is Soundwavetron, and I'm here with the Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, Battle Stretch, Mr. Fantastic Review. <clears throat> now for a mini, a uh, little mini bio. Um, Reed Richards here was a scientist, and he had a dream of building an airship. So, um, he gathered up all his friends to help him on the journey into space. Uh, first was his best friend, who uh, was joking, but said that he would pilot it, was uh, Ben Grimm, also known as The Thing. And then his uh, fellow scientists, like, they were kind of like friends, and they were like in a group, like co-op scientists, they did stuff together and stuff. And that was uh, uh, Victor Von Doom, now also known as the Do uh, Dr. Doom, and um, a very smart woman. Also, the love of his life, Susan Storm, but unfortunately, at the time, she was, um, getting married to Dr. Doom. But, uh, he got her, Susan Storm, um, also known as the Invisible Woman. <clears throat> and then he also brought, uh, Susan's brother. I don't remember what he specialized in, but, uh, he was Johnny Storm, now also known as, uh, the Human Torch. And then when they went up to space... Something happened. I don't remember what it was. Something blew up or they got too close to a planet or something. And, um, they thought they were going to die, but, in, uh, but they got, like, superpowers. And he got stretchability powers. Stretch his body into any shape or f f size or form. And then, um, they named their little group of superheroes the Fantastic Four. And since he was sort of the leader, he got the name, uh, Mr. Fantastic. Now, <clears throat> the detail on this figure is okay. The head is very similar to, uh, the man who played him in the movie. Which you can see that him right there. And the head sculpt on the figure. Yeah. He is a little bit... Sorry. Um... He is a little bit too pale in the head for my liking, but it still is very nice. Uh, nice detail on the hair. The suit is just plain blue um, <clears throat> and black with some white and gray in some places. Now, <clears throat> I never really liked the suit on the Fantastic Four uh, characters, but um, if you like it, they, it is very detailed. Black boots, black gloves all the way up to the elbow, black stripes everywhere, um, the f uh, emblem on the left, <coughs> or, yeah, nipple, but, uh, <laughs> then the cut in the neck is black all the way around, so pretty nice detail. Now, one thing that I really don't like about this figure is, <coughs> is the, uh, the arms, they're just like, um, I understand where they're coming from, like, they want to show his powers, but with every Mr. Fantastic figure I've ever seen, it's either the arms are rubber, or they're long like this, and they're just like, yeah, I don't, like, it makes it hard for him to pose and stuff, and he falls down a lot like that, but, um, yeah, like I said, I understand where they're coming from, but with Fantastic Four figures, I wish they would just, like, just sort of make the character and not show the powers as much like I wish he does have like interchangeable hands but I wish he had like interchangeable arms to make it just look like normal Reed Richards in the costume and that's like the same with um uh, the invisible woman cuz she's like when you buy her she's usually like translucent or something and to me that's really stupid cuz like it doesn't show the figure at all it's just like a white toy so yeah I really don't like the arms, but anyway, um, the articulation, <clears throat> it's okay, it could be a little bit better, anyway, the head can go up and down, and 360 around, it's on a ball joint, but it's not the best ball joint, the arms have a, not a lot of articulation, even though they are, like, rubber, oh my god, so the arms can go, um, 360 at the shoulder, they go out and back in, and they don't bend at the elbow, but like this um, little glove part, long thingy. If you've ever had a Gumby toy, like that green guy, when you were little, it's kind of like that. 
like they can bend and stuff and then they hold their shape and that's that's kind of cool but like I said I really don't like the arms uh, being so long <clears throat> and then like another thing that I don't like is the uh, the chest it's really loose and it goes up and down but like with the interchangeable uh, hands that he comes with that I'll show you later the other ones not the normal hand sort of things but like the other ones um it'll like it's really loose so it'll make him like fall down or fall back <coughs> sorry which I really don't like but then anyway uh thing that I think is weird is he doesn't swivel at the waist but he swivels at the joint where the um chest part bends like sort of where the abs are and that's pretty weird and that also messes up uh, his pose ability and then anyway um the legs can go forward they can go back um a little bit and then something that I think is really weird is I wish that it like swiveled up here and it was on a ball joint up there but it doesn't and instead it like swivels at the knee and that's kind of weird too because it's really loose and you can make them have like stupid trick knees or whatever but yeah anyway it bends it like the knee or it uh, swivels at the knee bends at the knee and then the foot doesn't really have articulation but it does wiggle so like yeah so the articulation like some points of it really make him unposable and that's really stupid they just put in like way too much stupid stuff and they really could have improved on the articulation but I guess it's okay like he doesn't have many poses because of it but nah. now he does come with sort of like four accessories which are his interchangeable hands and the hands that I have on him right now he comes with four the hands that I have on him right now are a left-handed fist and the reason why I say left-handed is because like you wouldn't want a fist like this on a right hand because that would just look weird so yeah a left-handed fist and then a right-handed hand that's sort of like grabbing out at somebody so yeah and um they just pop off and then you have like a peg and a hole on whichever hand that you choose and they just pop on and off so now I'm gonna go through each hand see what uh, they are um the first one is a like I said left-handed uh, fist now it's just plain black it does have some detail and um I'm happy that they are like bigger than his head because if they weren't then like you wouldn't be able to like kill people with them and stuff but anyway uh so yeah it's a black uh left-handed fist i sort of wish that he didn't wear like black gloves like the character didn't wear black gloves because then it would look cooler but it's just plain black and then the second hand is uh one that's kind of cooler and it is the hand that's grabbing out at you uh, this one belongs on the right hand. Like I said, it fits on either hand, but looks cooler on the right. And yeah, it's just a hand that's grabbing out, and uh, it's just plain black. Now the two, there's two cooler ones, and uh, this one uh, belongs on the right. As you can see, uh, it's a saw. His four fingers are creating this part, and then on the other side, the thumb creates that, and that looks really cool. Uh, very detailed looks really cool um the blades are kind of wobbly but still very awesome now like I said I wish it wasn't plain black because it, the saw would have um, a lot more detail but you know I can't do that now the last one which is kind of my favorite I don't know why but it sort of is it's a shield um it's very cool looking uh, just plain black kind of like a disc and you can see where his hand would be where the wrist and then leading over there now it is very rubbery and if you left it out in the sun it would get warped and messed up so you know on display don't put it in the sun or by the windows now like I said they just pop on and off well like so uh, they're not so easy to pop on they're okay but you know yeah so this figure really isn't that great um the like I said, uh, the articulation really messing him up. The um, arms being way too long, and the accessories just being plain black. 
Um, so if you, I picked them up at KB Toys because they're going out of business, and I just wanted a Marvel figure. But like, if you like, if you like, um, Fantastic Four, definitely pick them up because he is one of the better Mr. Fantastic figures I've seen. But if you're just looking for a new toy and you're in retail and you see him, uh, don't bother because he's really not that great. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Soundwavetron signing out. Trying to create something that's not there, a spark of salt.